So the Lord's Supper is something we do weekly here at Grace Hill Church. And I've been asked why. So why do it weekly? Well, one, I think Scripture points to it. You know, again, 1 Corinthians chapter 11, we back up again one more verse to verse 26. It says, For as often as you eat this bread and drink the cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. I was talking to Ryan Robertson about the sermon before service started this morning. He gave me a great example, and I'm going to go ahead and steal it. He said, I've heard it said before that it's a little bit like having dinner with your spouse. Is that something you want to do quarterly or something you want to do every six months? Or is it something that you want to do as often as you can? It's like, what a great picture. That it should be something that we desire because of our relationship with Christ, because we love Him. Again, don't think Erica is going to be real happy for like, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get together for our quarterly meal. We're going to go ahead and gather for our quarterly meal as a family. How does that play out in our relationship? Probably not well, right? One of the stats I've read in the past about divorce and you know, family unity One of the biggest determining factors of a family having success, if you will, staying together, is family meals, gathering together around the table. If you can do it daily, you should. Thus, we're called together around the table as a faith family. So when we gather to worship, We should make sure our gathering is pointing to Christ. Trust me, there's lots of faith families that maybe gather to point to themselves or point to other things, sadly. We should intentionally gather to point to Christ. And I think the one way to ensure this is done is through the Lord's Supper. I don't think there's any better way to take the focus off ourselves and point it to Christ. It's a reminder at the end of each of our services that we live and we live free because of what Christ did for us on the cross.